Are you thinking straight? If not, you might need some water. Did you know that just 2% dehydration can cause impaired cognitive function? We will address this fact and more on this episode of H2 Minutes. On top of H2 and science, we're also passionate about water. Not only is water super important, but there's also many misconceptions about water out there. Science calls water the universal solvent. No life exists without it. Water might also be the number one thing we take for granted. We use water for every aspect of life, drinking, bathing, cooking, cleaning, etc. The average American household uses around 80 to 100 gallons of water a day. In 2010, it was estimated that household water use in the US was over 2 billion gallons per day. That's approximately 1 trillion gallons in a year. With how important water is, you would think it would be all we drink. You'd be surprised how many people have told me that they never drink water. Truth is, many people choose sugary drinks over good, clean water. Maybe they haven't heard that those drinks increase the risk of metabolic syndrome and type 2 diabetes. I guess they could be a tasty treat, but they're not very effective at hydrating the body the way it needs. In terms of quantity needed, water is by far the most important nutrient. You can live for weeks without food, but only two to four days without water. The reality is that our bodies is 55 to 75 percent water. So it is imperative that we are properly hydrated. Here's the breakdown based off the chemistry of the body. Our brain and hearts are around 73% water. Our lungs are around 83% water. The kidneys and muscles are 79%. The skin is 64%. Our bones are even 31%. And our blood is 90% water. So as you can see, our bodies are no stranger to water. In fact, water is one of the primary building blocks of cells. Water serves many purposes in our bodies as well. Water carries nutrients into the cell and out of the cell. Water lubricates joints and tissues. Water maintains blood volume and viscosity. Water helps prevent memory loss. Water aids in electrical nerve conductivity. Water helps flush waste and toxins from the body. Water helps to reduce oxidative stress. Water improves cognitive function. Water aids in regulating your body's temperature. Water acts as a shock absorber in your body. Wow, looks like our bodies love them some water. So in that case, what does it look like when our bodies don't have enough water? Well, dehydration can increase blood cholesterol, increase the risk of coronary heart disease, increase the risk of kidney disease, increase the risk of kidney stones, increase the risk of obesity, increase the risk of type 2 diabetes, increase the risk of cancer, increase oxidative stress, increase the risk of stroke, and cause constipation and bladder problems. Water deprivation and dehydration can also lead to the development of headaches. Like I said before, mild to moderate dehydration can impair important aspects of cognitive function. This includes concentration, alertness, short-term memory, coordination, motor skills, perception, and arithmetic ability. Mild dehydration can even produce mood swings, including elevations in fatigue, confusion, anger, and irritability. In this study, children in this school were given an increase of water by 1.1 glasses a day and reduce the risk of becoming overweight by 31%. So the next time you fill up your glass, fill up one for your friend too. Were you shocked by any of our water facts? This is only the beginning of our dive into water. Stay tuned for future videos as we discuss the science of water and all the fun ways it affects our bodies. Please support us on Patreon so we can keep bringing you great H2 Minute material. That's your dose of H2, two minutes. Cheers. <laughs>